Brother Frederick Franz. And Brother Franz was born in 1893, and he was baptized in November of 1913. So, as one of the Lord's anointed in 1914... Please, I've already watched this. ...and he was able to understand its meaning. This has got nothing Brother, whatsoever to do with any of my questions. This is a, a total waste of my time. Joseph it's how, not how addressing it's not addressing the questions I've got on the text. I've it seen this already. I've watched this the, already. I don't want to watch it a second time. Of the generation. Pardon? You wanted the understanding of the generation. I, 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 I know all this. I've seen this video before. It doesn't answer the questions I've got on Matthew twenty four thirty four. How can it not answer the question on the generation if that's what it's doing? Because he doesn't even know what a generation is. He doesn't know that you have to go. You have, Look, in Matthew 24, 34, the word generation, assuredly I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled. Now, the definition of generation is given not in the book of Exodus, but in Matthew chapter 1. You have 43 names from Abraham to Christ in Matthew 1 chapter 1 verse 2 to Matthew chapter 1 verse 16 and then in verse 17 we read so all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations from David unto the captivity in Babylon are 14 generations and from the captivity in Babylon unto the Christ are 14 generations so you have 43 names but 42 generations each life is one separate generation now, that's how Matthew interprets generation in the first chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. So you take that and you go to Matthew 24, 34. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away to all these things are fulfilled. There is no overlapping generation, as Mr. Splain says. I, I, I've and, watched that video and, before. And yet, if you Google what generation means from the dictionary definition, it says... It is a group of people that are of similar age and have lived at similar times and have shared similar Which experiences. dictionary? Give me the reference. Which dictionary are you referring to? Just Google it. It'll come up. No, be specific. Be precise. The English dictionary I'm looking at. The you. English dictionary. The English yeah. dictionary is based on the English language of the year 2022. The Bible is written in Greek. I'm holding up a Bible. Right, so you don't go to a 21st century English Bible to understand, to understand, to understand Greek generally. words in the first century. Look, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, it, it doesn't seem whatever I say, um, you're not going to accept. Our it's not a case of not accepting it. You don't understand what you're talking about. You have no okay. depth of understanding of the topic. Yeah, OK. Um, I do You're feel, not capable of dialoguing on the topic. Yeah, I, I'm not here to debate with you. I'm not here to argue with you. This is what I believe. This is my faith. And I'm happy to accept the understanding. Obviously, you're not. So I think we probably are going to have to agree to disagree at this point now. Yeah. Okay. Could you could you please explain to me how Matthew one seventeen, Matthew verse two to verse 16 of Matthew chapter one gives 43 names. And Matthew chapter 1 verse 17 says the generations are 14 generations from David, 14 from the captivity, uh, from David to the captivity, and then 14 from the captivity until Christ. So it gives 43 names and 42 generations. Can't you see there's no such thing as an overlapping generation? Can I ask a question? I don't know if you're going to be honest and candid with me, but I mean, obviously... Uh, you've been upfront enough to say that you're living in England yeah. and you've tried having discussions with numerous Jehovah's Witnesses yes. over that time. Yes. Why is it that you've never been able to um, get a better understanding from somebody local to you? Why are you reaching out to somebody in Wales now, if you understand what I'm Because saying? they're scared, they're scared stiff of me. They, they, they won't talk to me where I live. I actually live in Plymouth. Yeah, but I also feel that um, you only want to engage in um, a debate or, or, or uh, you know, basically be argumentative about the topic. You, you're not open-minded, you're not reasoning to what we're saying, are you? I am. But in order to reason with me, you need to be able to 
engage with me. It's no good. Pre you're, you, what you're doing is you're preaching at me. You're trying to play videos to me. No, you're trying I'm to preach not. at me, but you you don't have the depth of knowledge to be able to discuss this. Now, look, your literature. It, are you saying that in verse thirty four? Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled. Are you saying that is the generation that saw 1914? Right. Let me explain it to you this way, okay? You um, see, you're, you're preaching. You can't engage with me you just ask as a an adult. I'm going to answer right. it. All right. I mean, am I allowed to answer the question? Yeah. yeah. Right. So, let's say my grandfather was, you know, one of the anointed in 1914. Right, and what I mean by that is, he would have been, as Brother Splain was explaining there, he would have been old enough to understand the time frame in what he was living, the sign of the times. Okay, so he would have been anointed, and he would have that understanding. Now then, my father and myself would have known my grandfather. Okay, so we are part of his contemporaries. All right, or part of that generation, as. Exodus mentions, and also the references that I've... Exodus is irrelevant. Why is it irrelevant? You're, you're saying that you'll only take the Bible in its context, but yet you're refusing to accept Exodus. The context for Matthew 24 is Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1 is no. written by the same author. Exodus is is um, 2,000 years before, and it's written by a different author in a different language. But what you're saying is, is that you're refusing to accept the terminology that when you speak about a generation, you're talking about a group of people or family that are living around the, that time where they, they, their ages overlap. Well, of, of, of course, every parent and child, they're going to overlap. The context in Exodus chapter, chapter 6, or was it Exodus 1, is different to Matthew 24. In Matthew 24, it says, Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all those things are fulfilled. Is that generation there the generation that saw the events of 1914? Look, this is important. Either it's yeah, true I, I, or it's I, I, not. So, as I said to you, right, there's got, with a generation, there's got to be an end, isn't there? Okay, You're not answering the question. Is the generation of Matthew twenty four thirty four the the generation that saw the events of nineteen fourteen? Yes or no? Well, no, because I mean, it's talking when it uses the term generation, it's talking about um, contemporaries or people that that were interlapped with people that saw nineteen fourteen, isn't it? Use Matthew to prove that. Well. I mean, at the end of the day, right, the, the point is, is this, as I said to you, you know, if, if you let me explain, right, my father, my grandfather might well have been around in 1940, right, and he might have had the understanding as being one of the anointed about what that sign of the times were, right, the understanding of it. So my father and myself are part of that generation. Now, my son, okay, who's 25, didn't know his grandfather, so he's not part of that generation. So the generation that sees these things at the start of the Great Tribulation, it can't be far off, can it, really? Because if it involves, for example, myself and my father, when it's going, Jesus is saying it's going to come before this generation dies out. Which generation is that? Is that the generation that saw the events of 1914? No, it's the generation that were contemporaries that saw the events in 1914. Where does the Bible say that? Well, it's the understanding of that term, generations. No, no one's come up with this idea until the year 2008. Nobody in church history, no biblical scholar, no Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, no one in any Christian group, including Jehovah's Witnesses, came up with this idea until the year 2008. Remember... Before that, Jehovah's Witnesses taught that the generation that lived and saw the events of 1914 weren't going to die out. Now, that was, that was with respect to you, Craig, that was what they taught as the truth from Jehovah God. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we also believed at that time that 1975 was going to see the, you know, Armageddon too. But I mean, the scriptures tell you, and... 
Jesus mentions this in Matthew 24. All right, let me just turn that to you. Okay. Um, well, I was going to quote an awake that, that says, it's the awake, 22nd of May 1969, page 15. It says, of the generation that observed the beginning of the last days in 1914, Jesus foretold this generation will by no means pass away until all these things occur. Now, that generation is dead. 1914 is 108 years ago. This is a false prophecy. Jehovah never never spoke this. This is I mean, just Matthew, the invention Matthew, of men. Matthew 24, 42, Jesus says, Keep on the watch, therefore, because you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. Okay. So, I mean, yes, we don't get everything right. I mean, the... The understanding up until 1975 was that we could predict the actual start of Armageddon. Well, obviously, I mean, better understanding has taught us, as Matthew 24, 42 says there, that nobody knows when it's going to come. I mean, we have an idea, we have a time frame, as we're talking about the generation, a period of time, but nobody can predict when it's going to happen. We just know it's going to happen very shortly. Well, firstly, there are two events mentioned in Matthew 24. Not one event, there's two events. One is the destruction of the temple. That's right. That's and the, the other one. event would be the second coming of Christ. There's no second. reference to 1914 anywhere in, in Matthew 24 or, or anywhere in the Bible. The Bible never refers anywhere to the no, date Jesus 1914. No, I think you find that Jesus mentions in Matthew 24 uh, numerous things. Uh, for example, uh, nations against nations, kingdom against kingdom, earthquakes, pestilences, yeah. one thing after another. But actually, Matthew 24, verses 14, goes one step further, and it says, This good news of the kingdom will be preached in all the inhabited earth for a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. So it's only now, in this period of time, is that good news being preached throughout all the earth? No, 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 because um, the first... The signs, look, do you, do you want me to go through the chapter? And, and no, not I, really. You don't want me to go through the chapter, then how can we discuss it? Well, we, we're not discussing it. I mean, you, you've obviously made your mind up. Well, I've given you an explanation of it. But, you're, you, but your explanation displays your lack of understanding. And in your t- of of the te- you, you don't understand the basics of of the text. I- I'm no, sorry, I, Craig. I understand plenty, to be honest. Dude. The All first, right. I, I the first. Be, I don't need to be converted in any other direction from you. I know what I believe, and I'm quite comfortable. But you believe the teachings of men. Look, you've admitted the Watchtower were false prophets. You admitted um, that no. that wake. For 1969. I, I bring this meeting to a conclusion. Oh, now. don't run know. away. Just, Come on, man up. I just don't feel that we're doing it. Man anything. up. Are you Thank expecting you me to please, accept sir. everything you say immediately? And he's he's hung up. Okay. <laughs>